So I think that at least the serial killer. No, 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 not in real life, guys. Come on, gosh. I'm talking about his fictional characters, not real life people. I saw you. I know that you made this face. Don't you dare lie to me. So in this video, we are going to cover the victims from his movies and then predict what will happen in Jawan based on his Emma. So let's take a look at his work, shall we? As you can see, he made a few movies and there were all hits. And he got the chance to make his first Bollywood movie with the king himself. Damn, that is great. Kudos to him, by the way. So at Likuti, Kuti means baby in Tamil. And trust me, when you have my age, everyone seems younger. So this guy was credited as writer for four Tamil movies. And if there's one thing that got me when I watched his movie was the following thinking. At Chagya, who hurt you? Why do you need to kill so many people? Why, dear? Why? Why do you have to leave a trail of victims? So in Raja Rani, the first Tamil movie of Atli, the characters of Surya and Kirtina died. Surya was actually Regina's boyfriend and Kirtina was John's girlfriend, John and Regina being the main lead of this movie. And BTW, the way that Kirtina died is a very, very, oh my fuck god, traumatizing scene. No wonder that John was depressed after this and I know I know that it's mandatory for the main story to happen because Regina and John needed to have their heart broken so they can have an arranged marriage and then heal together as a couple and then love again like blah 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 okay I do get that but did you need to kill her this way and did you need to bring back the character of Surya at the end of the movie and turn his death into the most horrifying ghosting story in Hollywood? Must you? Come on, this is the kind of story I read on Reddit. The guy faked his own death to break up with this girl. Trust me Regina, on this one you dodged a bullet. At least second movie, Terry, is actually where I am the most maddest and I know this is not English but whatever, come on. The way Terry irk me is absolutely insane. Don't get me wrong, I love the movie but here's the trick, I hate it at the same time. Oh boy, my comment section will be filled with hate but I stand on my ground on this one. I absolutely love and hate the movie at the same time true story one that requires an entire video because i have so much to talk about but the main reason why i am this mad is why did the character of mitra had to die seriously vijay kumar and mitra are so perfect to each other they're just a cute and lovely couple and they mix dance and then bam she had to die again in the most horrific way and also we have another victim who comes back to life Vijay Kumar officially died with his wife Mitra in this incident but he came back to life as Joseph Kuruvilla Obviously, I won't talk about the movie Sangili Bungili Kadavatara as he was just a producer of the movie. So let's skip this one. Oh my god, I can't believe I forgot about Marcel. My boo Aise and her husband died in the most horrific way. They were betrayed, they were ripped off and they were killed. Wow, this is too much and awful. Granted, they were also super duper cute. Wait, no. I mean, is this also his thing? Like giving us some awesome, cute, adorable couple and then just destroy them? That's not fair. And lastly, Bigel is where he kept his killing count to a minimum. If you can say this way, there's only one casualty with the character of Ryapen who was extraordinary. I really loved Vijay as Ryapen. He made this character very, very like extra charismatic, if you know what I mean. Again, horrible death. Okay, so we have so far five deaths confirmed and two people who were brought back to life. So given the fact that Deepika Pagodone is a guest star, I bet 5 cents, yeah, I'm not crazy, I'm a terrible detective. My detective skills equal the number of iceberg in the Sahara Desert. And I'm not kidding, that's how awful I am. But I still want to play the game. 
Though I'm betting two cents on Deepika Pagodini's death, a spectacular one, and I think that Shahrukh Khan's character will die and come back to life. And looks like I'm right because I just saw the trailer. A rendezvous on September the 7th to see if I'm right. Kidding, it will be later because ain't gonna watch the movie on the first week. Too old for this stuff, baby.